Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how uh, quickly and easily we can draw cabinets with our Excel to AutoCAD workbook, which is set up specifically for drawing cabinets. I have a workbook here and it has all the VBA code in it that I've demonstrated on my other videos, but I've compiled it all into this one workbook and I'm going to click on the, the button generate and you can see how quickly we've just drawn a cabinet in AutoCAD. It's got all the parts, it's got, they're all set at a specific uh, location, they're rotated around in whatever way you want them to be and this is all fully parametric as well too. I can just change the overall dimensions of the cabinet however I see fit, go back generate and there it is even wider, now it's a meter wide. I can even change the location to, so instead of being at the zero 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 point, I can even just move it five hundred mil across, and let's say we can even make it five hundred wide. Click on generate, and there you have it. It's already drawn within a second. If I just show you the actual workbook itself, um, it's got all the information that we need to draw the parts. Uh, we've got a list of parts here and if it's got a quantity of one it's going to be drawn in AutoCAD if it's got a quantity of zero it will just skip past that it's got all the it's got the length of each part the width the thickness the material doesn't really matter that's just more of a note it's pretty much the same as the part name it's just to give the user a bit of information as to what that part actually is this will actually choose what layer it's actually going to be drawn on. So if we go back over to here, and if we just change the layer of the bottom part, let's say to door, which we have this layer already drawn in AutoCAD. Look at that. It's already changed the layer on that because the door layer in this file is white. So we just change that to possibly even a light blue. You can see there, if we were to delete that, we can even turn the bottom, set the bottom to zero, and let's change the top to the layer door, redraw it, oh. and you can see that the bottom panel has now been not drawn in, uh, but the top panel has been uh, drawn in at a different layer. This is really fantastic uh, workbook to use and you can add many more parts and over here I can even show you um, in addition to the the dimensions of each part we can it's got the position of each part relative to where the product position is so this is currently set at 500 on the X, zero on the Y, zero on the Z. But within that, we can set each part at a, at a specific location. So this is the top part is set at 800 mil high on the Z relative to what this Z point is. Um, you can also rotate each part, which I've done. Uh, so some of these have been rotated on the Y axis, minus 90 degrees, and that is to actually flip parts up. Uh, it could be like this one is, if I go up here, the left side has been rotated minus 90 degrees, and so has the right side. 90 degrees. They've actually been drawn and they've been rotated up. They've been rotated up. Sim similar with the, you can see here that the bottom has not been rotated at all. The back panel, which is here, that would have been rotated minus 90 degrees on the y minus 90 or and plus 90 degrees on the z in order to get it on that particular uh 
in that particular position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the bottom panel once again, and I'm going to put these back to the cabinet layer. And the top panel I'm going to put on the cabinet layer. So just to restart. We also have over here uh, a reference to each part on how it's going to be drawn in AutoCAD. So if we just turn off all the parts for a demonstration on how this actually works, and we'll just use our bottom panel. So the bottom panel is drawn uh, with no rotation. But the part reference is, it's the origin of the part is at the left, back, and the bottom of the part. So if we draw this in at 0, 0, 0, if we draw this in, you'll see that the left, the back, and the bottom is how, where this part is referenced from. If we delete that and set it to the right, watch how it gets drawn now. There. So it's actually being drawn in the opposite direction. If we set this to the front, you'll see that this will then be drawn differently on the Y. And then if we change this to top, if we zoom in, it's going to draw it differently on the Z axis. You can see there how that is. We'll just change that back. And we generate that, and you can see that it's back to how it was drawn. And that all, and by using this, it rotates it differently as well, too. So if we were to add a rotation, to this part, let's just say minus 90 degrees, it's going to rotate that up vertically now because the, the origin of this part is right here and it's going to rotate that on the y axis minus 90 degrees. So if we delete that, generate, you can see there it's been it's been pivoted on this particular point. Or sorry, should be on this point here. If we add a 90 degrees on, on the rotation along the x the z axis, generate that again, you can see it rotates up 90 degrees on the y and around 90 degrees on the z, and that's how that panel is now drawn. But if we go back and set this to 0, 0, and if we turn on our other parts that we had originally, so the left side, the right side, the bottom, the top, the back and the shelf generate that. You can see, look how quickly that is actually drawn. And you can go in and uh, so these are all formula driven. So equals width minus 16.3 times 2 gives you the overall width that you need for the top and similar for the bottom panel because there are internal dimensions of the cabinet. If you look at the back, it's equals height and equals width, which is the controls that we have over here, your width, your depth, your height. And then if you look at our positions, this right side is drawn at the position of equals width. But this is only the, this is relative to where the position is. So you can change the origin of that actual 
cabinet, we can actually just draw in a second one here as well. So if we go 500 mil across, if we just draw this again, it's going to draw another cabinet right next to it. We can draw another one at a meter, at the at a meter along the X, generate another cabinet. Look how quick that is. We can generate another one at 1500, and um, we can change the dimension to say 800 wide. For instance, let's change it to 400 mil deep and 600 mil in the height. If we generate, there you have it, and the the shelf itself is actually uh, changing where it's drawn as well too, because the height is equals height divided by two. You can just go ahead and delete that. And I've got other components drawn in here. For instance, if you don't want a solid top, you can add on whatever parts you want. But if we turn off the top and we can add in a top and a bottom rail, redraw that, and you can see that the cabinet there with rails along the top, which is quite common for a base cabinet to be fixed to a bench top. But you can add in whatever you want here. You can add in extra shelves. Um, these are just fillers that I've added, so we can turn this a filler on on the left side, and even a solid right panel. If you turn those on, regenerate, you can see you've got a solid end panel on the right. You've got a filler on the left. And you can even add in a door as well too if you get they're just drawn on a layer on the layer door to uh, highlight that it's a different the filler and the end panels I have set on a different layer, but you can choose whatever layer you want. You can add in more shells, you can add in any component you want and rotate it in any direction you want. For instance, if we were, we can add in, we'll make this a, a smaller cabinet, we'll say 500 mil wide cabinet, and we'll just reset this back to zero there, 560 deep, 800 high. So if we wanted to add in a door, we can simply just go to the next blank line. And we can just type in door. It doesn't really matter what you call it. It's not relevant to what it's going to be, how it's going to be drawn in AutoCAD. But for our information, we'll call it door. Set the quantity of one. It doesn't matter if you set it to one or ten. It's just it's going to only just draw one component. Um, the length of this door will actually be the overall height of the cabinet. So we can just say equals height. And the width of the door will be the width of the cabinet minus a clearance on each side. So we will just say equals width equals width minus four. We'll say minus four mil, two mil each side. And the thickness we'll just say 16.3. And the material we'll just say that it's the exact same material. Again, the material doesn't really matter. We could say anything. We could say, you know, white melamine, black melamine. This is just a note for the user. And we'll set the layer to door. So it's going to get redrawn on a different layer. Um, the, uh, the reference for the X, Y, and Z of each part, we're just going to make it the same as always good just to start off with the left back bottom as a reference to start off. The position of where this door is going to be drawn is going to be relative to where the, the zero point is of this cabinet. In this case, we're just going to say that it's going to be drawn at two mil along the X because we've subtracted four mil 
off the part. So we're just going to say it's going to be 2 mil on the x. We're going to say equals minus depth. So it's going to be drawn at 560. And we'll set it off the cabinet cell. So 562. And we'll just set that to 0. And how do we want to rotate this? Well, we can just put it 0 along the x. I'm guessing it's going to be minus 90 along on the y and 90 on the z. Once you draw it, you'll see where it ends up. And if it needs any modifications, we can do that. So we'll just go ahead and erase that. Generate the cabinet. And there's the door. It's actually in the right location. That's the door of the cabinet added. Um, if I wanted to make any changes, I would actually you know, drop the the height of the door. So equals height equals the height of the cabinet minus two mil to allow for a clearance. So it'll be seven ninety eight. I can just go ahead and redraw that. I just delete the cabinet. Click on generate. Look how quick that is. When I zoom back in, you can see that it's made an allowance for that two mil. We've got two mil on the on each side to allow for our fillers and end panel. So that's how quick you can draw a cabinet. And if we wanted to turn it off, we can do that. Regenerate. The door is no longer there. But we can turn it on and off if we want to. Again, we can move this in any direction. We can say minus a meter on the X. We can minus 500 mil on the Y. So it's going to go, going to go minus a meter here. Minus 500 mil this way. And we'll just leave the Z at zero. Or we can say 300 mil at the height. So it's going to go minus a meter, minus 500, and then up on the Z, 300. We just click on generate. Now, if we find out so the zero point is here, if we just type in ID, we go to this point, you can see that's the exact location of where it's drawn. Minus a meter, minus 500 on the Y, and 300 on the Z, which is what we specified right here. So this particular workbook has everything you need to do this with AutoCAD. It's simply just click on the generate button. It's going to send a whole bunch of commands into the command line. Down here you can see when it's in, it's going to draw a box. It's going to draw at a start at a specific corner. It's going to give you the other side. It's going to rotate it however it needs to. It's going to rotate it in whichever way you have asked it to rotate on here on this table. And as I said before, all the information to do this is on the other videos that I've uh, shown on my channel. However, if you would like this specific workbook uh, where it's all set up, uh, all the code is already included and it's really just a matter of clicking a button to draw directly into AutoCAD. Uh, please see the description below in this video and uh, you can find out how to get your hands on this particular workbook. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this.